As the nation again reported a single-day increase of over 1,000, the mass COVID-19 outbreak at Dongbu Detention Centre in Seoul is continuing to swell. 233 inmates tested positive in a third round of centre-wide testing on Monday, and some of the centre's infected inmates have been transferred to a correctional facility in Cheongsong, Gyeongsangbuk-do province. The Tongbu Detention Center in Seoul reported 233 more COVID-19 cases after conducting a third round of testing on all of its 1,600 inmates. Test results for 31 inmates are yet to come out. Infected patients with no or mild symptoms were transferred to a correctional facility in Cheongsong, Gyeongsangbuk-do province on Monday. This was done to free up space in the Tongbu Center and help block the further spread of the virus. During the transportation, the bus driver was wearing a Level D medical protective suit while the inmates were given high-performance KF94 masks and latex gloves. In order to prevent transmissions through saliva droplets, the bus's heating system was switched off. Instead, personal heating devices were distributed to the inmates. The Justice Ministry explained the Chongsong Correctional Facility is suitable to accommodate COVID-19 patients individually since it has many solitary cells. But controversy is rising over whether authorities were too late in testing all inmates at the Tongbu Center, which led to the massive cluster infection. Some Tongbu Center staff showed symptoms and tested positive beginning November 27. But the first center-wide test was conducted three weeks later on December 18th. 확진자가 초기에는 직원과 그 직원의 가족 중심으로 발생을 했고 역학 조사를 통해 가지고 그 범, 이제 검사의 범위라든지 그런 것들을 정하는 상황이었. According to a Justice Ministry official, health authorities downplayed the need to conduct a centre-wide test until December 14th, the day when the Tongbu Detention Centre reported the first case of infection among its inmates. But a full-scale test was later carried out at the ministry's proposal.